If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have a pretty jam packed video. So I'm going to be going through stuff pretty quickly, guys. Because if not, this could be a 30 minute long video. We have Team Diamonds. We have title updates. We have LTDs. We have sets. We have screenshots. We have everything, right? First off, Lale Collins. You may have seen him last night. Take a look at the stats. Pause if you need to. Pretty much an all threshold right tackle. Gonna probably be he's probably the rest. He's, he's the best lineman in the game. Do I think he's worth the price? No. A lot of coins for an LTD right tackle that you won't really get to really play with because you don't get to control him, right? Next you have Harold Landry. He's actually really good, although people were trying to talk crap. Uh powered up with everything. He's gonna have an 89 speed, 90 excel with 94 finesse move out of the right outside linebacker spot as a speed rusher. That's just that's just crazy. He's gonna be the best, he's gonna be the best finesse rusher in the entire game and the fastest at that. Like that, he's a good card. Hey guys, so we got the zone patch. Finally, we have some patch zones. We needed this. This will definitely change the game a lot. Tuning to outside cover three deep zones. Giving up too much space versus corner routes with no other vertical receiving threat in the area. Tuning to cover three deep zones versus uh, bunch flood concepts. Tuning to outside deep zones to better anticipate threats coming from across the field with no other threats to their zone. Resolved an issue that will flip play art when baselining and choosing a new play. Addressed an issue with uh, class progression when the player lock is in on the face franchise. So pretty much cover three zones that, that purple outside and the blue outside should not be coming down on the verge trips. At least we hope that will be that will be remains to be seen. I do want to touch on here. I'm trying to throw this back in is that. With this title update, it may just sound like a bunch of like nonsense on the screen. It, this may end up breaking some other things. You have to know that too. Typically, guys, when they do try to change things, they do break other things, which is why sometimes I feel like they're reluctant to like try to avoid not touching things. So it's it's gonna take some more time. There'll probably be a follow-up patch in like a week to two to three weeks that really just like tunes this one up because there's a chance by making by fixing cover three, they may become too dominant or OP. It may break cover two. It may affect some other things, so do know that that could potentially mess with things. So, don't if you see some other broken stuff or like suddenly corners can't catch the ball or you know stupid stuff like that that happens. Hopefully that'll be patched as well. But I am excited to test it. I recommend playing some online games today, guys, once it is live and going just checking out and seeing kind of what you're working with here because this is exciting stuff. I mean, it's a zone patch. It's what we've been waiting a month for this stuff, and it's every year. It's literally every year it comes out a month after the game. Usually I think it's a little bit earlier than it even came out, but. This year, zones were bad. I mean, probably the worst state they've ever been in. I've never played a Madden where, like, I've had Maddens where, like, I could do the cover three beater. I could do beaters. But this wasn't even beat. This was just, like, streak the ball at any certain, in a certain formation, which is auto touchdown. Last year, there were ways around it, like, playing over the top or protecting the sticks. Like, this year was just, like, you did that unless you usered it. And even then, you still kind of got beat. It was just, and without the way the zones play, even if you usered it, that means you have, like, three guys, four guys deep. And now the whole, un the, the whole underneath game is just there. So unless people are being dumb and completely trying to just burn you. It was tough to play online competitively. Hopefully, this does really improve weekendly because it was annoying because playing weekendly kind of sucks. Is first off, you're trying to get a good record. Second off, whoever has the ball after half can just literally chew. I was literally chewing clock after half, which I've never done in Madden before. And that's it. It was just a matter of like, it was more like a time possession game now instead of like a chess match, right? It was like, okay, you're going to score. I'm going to score, but I'm going to score and not let you score afterwards because I'm going to the clock up. But that's about it on that front. Let's head into the rest of the stuff. Next, guys, we have the team captain upgrades. We actually do get some plus ones here. Uh, with the new team diamond drop so make sure you guys do go ahead and actually go ahead and upgrade your guy tomorrow when it is available now when will this be dropping this at anywhere between 12 p.m eastern time to 5 p.m eastern time give or take so pretty much or 4 p.m so it, it's not dropping at 10 30 so don't expect it to um we hate that you can take a uh, pause here and look at some of the stats if you do want to see them jack youngblood's still probably the best one in my opinion the other ones just aren't that usable anymore um Team Captain Exchange Set is coming, so be excited for that, guys. If you didn't like your Team Captain choice, you can go ahead and actually switch it out, which is super exciting. Next, guys, we have the Sarah here, of course. If you want to exchange, you just have to power them down, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it can only be completed five times, so don't do it that many times. You'll get stuck with it. Next, guys, we have an 88, 9 to 90 overall elite exchange coming. And, of course, we have the Season 1 of Champion Exchange coming. So, if you took Junior Seau and you don't want him, you can get Devin Hester. If you took Devin Hester and you have too many wide receivers, you can go take Junior Seau. So, either way, it's good to go. Um, here we go with the Team Diamonds. We've got Ricky Williams. I'm going to go through key stats again because there's a lot of cards. Key stats here. I'm pretty sure he's, like, obese and he's really heavy and that's good for this new game. 90 speed, 90 trucking, 92 break tackle. That's really the highlights there. Aaron Glenn, cornerback. I think he's 5'9", so too tiny, but really fast. But doesn't get like any threshold besides maybe man powered up. 
Kevin Falk, garbage. I didn't like him in uh, Superstar KO mode. I hated it. I was the LSU. I was LSU almost every time, and I was stuck with him. Uh, too slow. Thurman Thomas, actually a really big name. Great receiving back. Uh, low carrying. Low trucking. Well-rounded. I wouldn't say he's, you know, he's not like a meta back. Deuce Staley, 91 speed. So he'll have a 92 speed powered up with good carrying, 92 change of direction, 80 catching powered up. Really super well-rounded back. May actually be one of the best backs in the game. It really just comes down to... I'd say what his weight is and what his behind the card stats are. Brian Arakpo reminds me of... He's good. I mean, block shot and power is going to be elite. The only thing's going to be his speed if you're fine with 84 speed, which actually isn't horrible. It's a pretty good card. Phil Sims for my Giants. Was not excited about this one, although there's a chance he gets hot route master. So if he does, he may actually end up being a lot better than people think. Good throw power, good short, good medium, good play action. Just very slow and not exactly the most exciting name. I would have preferred an Eli. Jack Tatum, going to be one of the best ones in this promo. 90 speed powered up with above ni with 92 uh, hit power, 92 zone. He'll have good pursuit, good man. Overall, the card's going to be really, really good, and I'm pretty sure he's like 6 foot 3. And oh, by the way, we did predict Jack Tatum, so that is one of them we got right. Charlie Joyner, going to be really good as well. Powered up with a 92 speed. He'll have above 90 deep route running, above media 90 medium route running, 88 short, above 91 spec, high 90 catch and catch and traffic, 90 jumping. He's going to be pretty good. I mean, his height isn't exactly the greatest from what I heard, but still good next we have gary zimmerman sorry bronco fans you got stuck with the left tackle gonna be threshold powered up will be completely 90 threshold for the most part so not bad uh if we do get a free one i wouldn't be against taking him Derek johnson in my opinion middle linebackers don't excite us anymore and he's only an 87 speed throw uh hit power and block shit's pretty good though brian bosworth middle linebacker now he's actually not horrible he gets a little bit faster than Derek johnson with the good hit power powered up of 89 speed he averaged above 90 block shed, above 90 hip power. If you compare the two, he's overall just better than the Derek Johnson card. I'm pretty sure he's kind of tall. I don't know if I'd get him, but not bad. Chris Long, good power move. Pretty high block shed, 81 speed. Well-rounded, similar to the Jack Youngblood. Charles Haley, um, great finesse and power move. If you can get the block shed to the 90 with the 87 speed, he's actually really good, way better than the Long, but he's not that linebacker. Larry Wilson, free safety. 90 zone, low hit power, not the best speed, 89 speed, but you didn't get the hit power with it, so decent card. Here you go, we guys, we have some free, you get some free team builder cards if you go ahead and do this. You get an 84 overall team builder player if you do some of the activities, and then over here, you get two team builder players from your cheers and team nat, okay, so that's it as well. I don't see a free team diamond here. These are some of the team affinity goals you can go ahead and do to get the players. Um, sets right here, you can see the sets do require a one of the, a good base, some good base leads from the team. It's going to require Superstar MVP, depending, and it does require both their Team Builder cards. So if you do want to go ahead and create your play, that's what the free Team Builders are for. And then it requires gold, and at the end, an 87 to 88 overall player, which does kind of suck, because that is a lot. That, that's expensive. I mean, that's going to, that alone is going to take up, make the, that makes the set right there alone, anywhere from 80 to 150k, right? Like, automatically 80k. The Team Builders are another, like, going to be another 40. Each. This makes the set really expensive, so it really depends and remains to be seen how good this set really is. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And, of course, if you guys have any questions regarding Team Diamonds, comment down below. Again, most exciting thing for today, honestly, probably the zone patch. I hope that does fix deep zones. And then going forward, Team Diamonds are cool. The LTDs are cool. Now, the LTDs are supposed to be delayed today, and content is supposed to be delayed tomorrow. I really don't know what they're doing on that front. But otherwise, exciting news. Zone patch is big. If you guys want to see the full title update notes, they will be live on. Go on, like, the Gridiron notes or the you just look up EA title update. You'll probably find it. It's usually online. But, yeah, guys, hopefully, you know, we'll get the rest of the Team Diamonds tomorrow. That was not all of them. So, hopefully, I can see some other predictions tomorrow. Some other big names I'm still looking forward to, especially the Master. The Master is going to be super exciting. So, let's see what that is. But, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.